been like that? Yeah. Antoine would do. Don't tell me you believe him. And why wouldn't you tell someone that you bought a bottle of champagne from the Marion Hotel bar an hour and 20 minutes before Claudia died? You heard what Ruth said. You put two and two together and you came up with 50. She paid for it by credit card. So they had your number and the time of purchase on their transaction list. Oh, uh, uh, so what? I bought a bottle of champagne. I mean, is that a crime? It is if you got a drunk and killed her. Now, how did I know that you were going to say that? You know what? You think what you want. Just stay out of our lives, yeah? The both of you. Phone Standring. No. Where are you going? Richard, just give me five minutes along with her. I've got to do this. Wait, I want to talk to you. I don't want to hear what you're going to say, thanks. I've heard enough. There are lots of things I don't understand. I mean, how did you meet Claudia? Was it you that sent her to us? You met her at the team event. Richard gave her the reference song number. You don't remember. Oh, where did you meet her? What does it matter? Just go back to your meathead house and leave me alone. She was someone's daughter, Ange. Someone loved her. Yeah. Wasn't she the lucky one? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Talk to me. I'm not your enemy, I'm your friend. Okay, so you want to know where I met her, yeah? Um, I went to the Chevin Lodge looking for you. I was just down the road at the Chevin Hotel. <laughs> Sad person that I am. Thought you might still be there. And then I saw this woman who smiled at me like she knew me. So I asked her where you were. You mean that gorgeous events organiser? She'd never have gone. Linda left. What did you want her for? Um, well, she's an old friend, and if she was here, I was gonna have a drink with her, that's all. How's a part of drink with me instead? I told her he'd done an eye dent for me that afternoon. Well, she just seemed fixated on all that strangulation stuff. Oh, I know what you mean. You mean an MH. Sorry. <laughs> and Mickey Hutchins. Oh, that's what we call it. How often did you see her? She wouldn't meet up after that first dream because she started seeing this uh, Tony bloke and um, the therapist told her that she should... <sighs> she should try being faithful. Greg. But when he finished it, she... she called me from the hotel room. Yeah, that'd be just after Frank left. It was like I, um, I, could, I couldn't help myself. I couldn't wait to see her. It was like I was going to see you again. I, um, I bought a bottle of champagne from the bar and I took it up to her room. The minute I got in there, I knew I was making a big mistake. She started on about doing an M.A. She should have just left. I just thought if she had a drink, she might... She might forget about it and be different. Don't look so worried. Nothing's gonna happen. I'm gonna be stood in the chair the whole time. She was supposed to give me a sign. She was supposed to lift her arm when she felt herself going, but she didn't. She kicked the chair away. I couldn't get hold of her. It was awful. It's going to be. Why did she do it, Linda? And then you rang me in. You thought I'd say there'd been another AA just like the last. <laughs> Why don't you just tell me the truth? I couldn't risk that. Don't be stupid. You couldn't talk me. It would have been the end of my career. It's hard enough being gay in the force. You know how I've had to fight tooth and nail to get where I am. I should be a DI by now. I wouldn't have told anybody. You say that now. I mean it. You know me better than that. And if it was an accident, it was. You really never understood what I felt for you, did you? 
and it. I just didn't feel it back. Why well, didn't you make me love you then? Well, I, Was that I just an experiment, some like sexual research for your post grad? No, no, that's not true. I was attracted to you and. What did I do? I don't know. What did I do wrong? But you didn't do anything wrong. I met Greg. I just knew. I knew. As soon as I saw him, I wanted to be with him. And you thought, I know, I'll have his brother instead. Yeah. You know it wasn't like that. What was it like, Linda? Oh, shit! What are you doing? Anne! Don't go after her. Oh. Anne! I will jump. Yeah? Go on then, jump. Do us all a favour. Oh, Richard, go back down. I mean it. And it was an accident. You didn't mean to kill her. They won't see it that way, though, will they? I'm finished. If they find a case against you, then the worst it'll be is accidental death. <laughs> I'll speak up for you. We can sort this out. No. Hunch. Just... Come to me. Please. No! 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 You think about the baby and Ruth. There is no Ruth and the baby, cos she left. She left. Why didn't you say? Doesn't matter. I love you, Linda. Always have. Yeah. <laughs>